is a brachial plexus MRI good to see nerve damage in TOS? Uh, I'm going to give a gold star for this. So there is something called an MRN, MR neurography. Radiologists love it and some clinicians love it because it's the most beautiful pictures of just the nerves. Now, unfortunately, no one's really tested it and said, here's the sensitivity. If I have patients with an abnormal brachial plexus and I do MR neurography on them, how many of those MR neurography studies will show abnormal brachial plexus? Let's say you have 100 patients with disease and the MRN neurography shows 80% of those as abnormal. That means your sensitivity is 80%. You've missed 20%. That's not very good by today's standards. So no one's done that study. And I don't know that they will because no one's going to take nerve biopsies for the brachial plexus. But the study has a lot of popularity because occasionally it shows something cool. And just by itself, it's the coolest thing. I can take pictures of the brachial plexus or the femoral nerve or whatever and just make everything else in the picture black. That's part of how we do it. Now, the problem is that disease of the brachial plexus, besides we don't know how much damage has to occur in the brachial plexus before it's abnormal on an MRI study, okay, we need to know other things, like is something compressing the brachial plexus? Remember that TOS is not a disease of the brachial plexus. It is a disease of all the structures around it that compress or stretch the brachial plexus. And that's where you get the problem. You can't fix the brachial plexus. What you're doing is you're fixing the other things around it. So if you do MR neurography and you get great pictures of the nerves and everything else is nulled and voided, then you have no idea what's compressing the brachial plexus. So you need other parts of the test. Our examination, the Nia Vista exam, includes pictures of the nerves and they're helpful. I'm, I've seen thousands of these now and I've seen those that look like MR neurograms and I've seen the ones that are the soft tissues around them all in the same patient on each side. See the brachial plexus and on other images, I see the soft tissues, the bones, the lung, the muscles. I see the arm position changes. And I can tell you, I see a lot of patients with severe compression of the brachial plexus or other abnormalities that cause pressure or tension on the brachial plexus. And I'm pretty sure it's correct because they go to surgery and they get better. And those nerves do not look abnormal on MR neurogram. So I know at least some patients, and I think it's more than half, um, can have normal looking brachial plexus if you just take those pictures. Those are not the critical pictures, in my opinion, in my experience.